channel. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be di discussing uh, the virtual bench exam and what to study for that exam. Um, I feel that I've wasted so much time trying to figure out what is the book that will have everything in dentistry and that I can actually read it and then be able to answer whatever question is going to come in the exam. But I came to realize that it's actually not just one book. So you, you're going to have to study different books in each subject in dentistry. And also what really helped me is that I made a list of the things that I need to go through in dentistry. And then I wrote down what book that I've used. So uh, in my list, there is, first of all, you want to study operative dentistry. And in operative, you want to make sure you're covering um, amalgam, both the filling and the preparation, composite, and then gold onlays, ceramic onlays, and inlays. And um, for this, I used um, an operative dentistry book for start events, and it was very helpful. Um, the book is huge. There is just so much information and you don't have to go through everything you just need to make sure you're studying amalgam composite onlays and inlays because they're going to be the things that you will mostly be asked about um also so for start events i actually did not buy the book the only thing i did is write down operative dentistry uh by start event a free pdf and i found one version that was for free and i used it the second thing you want to study is fixed prosthodontics and i remember some time ago i purchased um a webinar not a webinar actually a lecture uh for crown preparation from stevenson dental solutions website and it was very very helpful for me to learn more about crown rather than going through a book I know there is a lot of people that um, go through books and they're also helpful but for me I think um, going through the lecture that was available for me through the website was just easier because it was more focused and more uh, had more details in regards to clinical uh, aspect rather than in regards like the material that is used or things like that that are available in books. Um, I've also been to the seven days course for Stevenson's uh, and so for Dr. Stevenson's and so I've had um, an access to all of his lectures which have been also helpful for me but um, if you are able to purchase anything online they are also available and they are extremely helpful. Now the third thing you want to study is removable partial denture and for that I actually got this book like a very long time ago. I don't even know where I got it from. It's called Stewart's Clinical Removable Partial Prosthodontics, and it's really, really good. So if you're going to purchase that book, um, I didn't read all chapters. I remember I just read chapter, I've had it written down somewhere in here. So I read chapter two, three, four, seven, eight, ten, and eleven, and those were the only chapters that I've read. Um, it's really, really good because it uh, it kind of teaches you how to um, study removable partial dentures in like in a clinical way how to maybe draw a design maybe how to uh, make an RPD. So it was it was very helpful in that aspect. Um, the other thing you want to study is you want to study indo and for endodontics i used um dental dex cards and um mosby for mbde part two i didn't read through everything in details but i just went through uh, the diseases of the pulp and then also i went through um access opening for different teeth uh, and that was about it uh, you want to study pedo and in pedo i only studied um like the eruption sequence for teeth and i've also studied the um space maintainers that are used if several teeth were to be um, extracted or something like that and um that was it for pedo i've also um for oral surgery and for ortho, I didn't really study anything because 
I thought in these exams, they wouldn't be asking questions about maybe specialty. So I did not study anything specific or anything that talks in details about specific spe specialty. I thought we were all GPs or maybe like the program we're applying for is like for general dentistry. So I didn't think they would be going into details in that aspect. Um, I've studied perio and for perio I've also went through uh, dental decks and read through the diseases but what what was more important is that I went to, through uh, the website of the uh, periodontics of the American Dental Association uh, for periodontal diseases and I made sure that I'm um, memorizing the new classification for periodontal disease because um, I've learned that there is a new one and it, I think it was it's been used now for I think two years and I just wanted to make sure in case they ask me something about it uh, at least that they would know that I am aware of this change um, I've also studied uh, emergencies in uh, dental uh, in a dental office and there is just so many books that you can get this information from so whatever you like I used Oxford in clinical dentistry uh, they have some emergency like hypoglycemia and syncope and I've also wrote down like I searched uh, Google and wrote down uh, emergency in a dental office and saw a lecture I think it was on a slide share. I have I don't remember exactly what was the lecture, but I know that I found it very easy and it talked about everything so I've studied it. So whatever you're comfortable with studying, just make sure that it has most of the emergencies that are that can happen in a dental office. Um, I've also studied oral pathology and for that I've, I've used dental dex again with Mosby for MBDE part 2 and also I only read part of it the part that talks about maybe like uh, like staining of teeth some congenital diseases just the general stuff I didn't go through anything in details and also some of the odontogenic cysts and some of the um, like uh, some of the periapical radiodescencies and stuff like that. Um, also, I've studied x-rays. Now for x-rays, I did uh, take a course. There's this website called International Dentist Central, I think. I'll make sure I have their um, website down below in the description box. And they have a course for x-rays. Uh, I thought it was very helpful. Uh, it's helpful not just for a virtual bank exam, if they're not going to include x-rays, it's also helpful for treatment planning and for case-based studies because I know that there are so many schools that will ask about that. For example, there is University of Washington. Um, I think they do case-based study and then Luma Linda as well, they do treatment planning and so Understanding more about x-rays is important and if you're going to these courses, make sure you have something to study about x-rays. And that course in the website that I told you about, it's really, really good. It's only focus, it's a short course, it's not very, um, like it's not detailed in general, but it's focused mainly on things that may come in an exam. So that's why I thought it was very, uh, very good. Now the last thing I've studied, so this is, uh, actually I forgot one thing. So in, in addition to this list, what I did is that I've also studied impression materials, different impression materials, their use, um, like their uh, setting times, stuff like that. And I've also studied implant dentistry. And in implant, I went through everything in general. I didn't read anything specifically, but just went through like some of the contraindications, some of the um, systems that are being used nowadays and stuff like that. Uh, I've also been through the systemic diseases and um, made sure that I know when a patient would need a medical clearance. Um, there is a classification for patients and when do they need uh, medical clearance from a doctor because I thought that it, just in case they give me like treatment plan and they ask me to treat a patient that I'm not supposed to treat until there is clearance. So I made sure I have that. Um, 
the final thing that I've studied is this book. I thought this book was very helpful. I've actually purchased um, Oxford in Clinical Dentistry, like the regular book, and this came free with it, but I thought this was also very helpful. It's question and answers, and it goes through every subject in dentistry. It doesn't take much time to finish it, and it's really, really good for a virtual bench exam. Um, and that's about it. That's the things that I've been through. Please let me know if you have any questions and I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you and good luck.